Okay, so this is the November 2021 Le Mans Legends feature race, which is 20 laps. And you can see someone there cut in just the last second. They were going over the sensor. I'm not sure what they were up to, but uh, let's hope they weren't cheating. And again, I started 12th, and I'm not sure who I'm behind. And also, apologies for the camera. I did adjust it, and it's probably a little bit too low. I'm behind car 18 again. Okay, so car 18 is uh, Jake Holland. Okay, so I spent a lot of time behind Jake. Um, I think I finished behind him in both races, so we'll see how he progresses and how I go. I went really wide there, made a huge mistake, and somebody got past me. So already down to 13th, I guess. And Carnage, that guy's going over the uh, thing again, the sensor. So I think there was a bit of an error with the sensors, so um, that's a shame. Okay, again, I was getting a run there, but couldn't quite get there. It's uh, 18 ahead of me again, so a lot of carts uh, changing position here. And at this point, when, when there's so many carts, all you can do is stay close. There's, you can try to see if you can find a way through, but um, especially when it's wet and we're going backwards, I think it's more dangerous than anything. If you're just going to try and send it in, you'll probably spin off. So I'm just trying to see where I can gain some time. Again, we've got a yellow. Did lose a lot of time around that last corner, so hopefully the next lap will be a bit quicker. This guy is just like going over every single time. Um, let's hope they... Oh, look at that, and he spun. That's, that's poetic justice for you. Okay, so um, following, following 18 around, uh, there's no point winning if you're going to cheat anyway, so I think it's, it's good to um, follow the rules because... At the end of the day, you're just deluding yourself, so it's good to challenge yourself and, and be honest about it. Uh, okay, so, yep, just going through here. Again, I feel like I'm making a lot on this exit because I brake on the way in and then power through, whereas they're slowing up a bit. Um, and again, let's see how I go in this last corner. I'm not quite... Uh, that's, it could have gone a bit faster at the exit there, I think. They're going wide. I don't go wide just because I felt like it was a bit unstable. Uh, and they weren't necessarily getting away from me, so I just kept up with this. Let's hope I stay away from that sensor so I don't get my engine cut out. And I think he's gone over the sensor, so I've gotten past him. Somebody else didn't, see, didn't catch the number there. So now I guess I'm probably up in about 10th position. Um, and I was really feeling like maybe I can make some moves here. They were getting really close. And again, coming around the outside here is really dangerous. There's nowhere to go, so I had to back out of that and then just hope I can get him on the next one, but I'm losing some ground here. He's got a really good run going up the inside. Let's see if he can keep the grip. I'm trying the inside here now, but it's starting to get very mucky around there. And uh, yeah, I lost some ground there. That's not good. Again, I kept going in so deep into that first S, so hopefully uh, next time I can fix that up a bit. We've got yellow. Somebody's got an issue, so we'll just kind of... Oh, that's right. He comes back in, doesn't realize I'm there, and kind of veers me off towards the barrier there, so I had to get out of the way. Not his fault. He couldn't see me. Um, but, yeah, so they've got past this guy who's obviously had an issue, and there we go. I've managed to go up the inside of him. He was getting a little bit too happy on the steering wheel. I went really deep here. Again, I was trying to go too fast, so you've got to brake there so you can get a good entry. Cutting it fine there to kind of make a bit extra time. Um, eh, not too far away, but I don't feel like I'm going very quickly through that last corner, so uh, I'm still struggling to figure out the best line. Anyway, just following them here, trying to make up some ground. Hopefully I can get up. Oh, someone spun. don't know who that was, but uh, that's really embarrassing when you're facing the wrong direction. And, uh, oh, we've got a yellow again, so figure out what's going on here. At least it gives me a chance to catch my breath and figure out what's going on. Um... Again, I cannot even see, the, with the rain, and I went over the dirt a few times, I've got more and more splatter on the camera, so I literally don't even know who's in front of me. Can't see the number. But, uh, you know, you may know who you are if you're watching this video, so you can see your style. Okay, so I'm going around the outside here, hoping that it'll help me. Ah, oh, that's right, and I, I was about to get a really good exit, and then the red came. And uh, I was just waving to him to let him know that he can... He can pass me because um, I was sliding up the inside, had to slam on the brakes, and I had, went through a huge puddle, so I couldn't stop. And I'll just pause it here so we can um, get on with the race again. Okay, so we're getting going again. I just make sure I tuck in behind this guy, and it's number eight. 
so number eight is uh, Vinya Dusa. Dusa. I hope I said that correctly. So, okay, let's see what happens to him and if we can stay with him. Uh, again, it's really tough to see. I could see a bit more than this camera, but... Oh, he's gone up the inside, so that's well done for him because uh, not easy to go up the inside there, especially when you've got past, I think, two carts. And I'm just trying to duck in behind. Who we, who's ahead of us? It's 30. So, 30 is uh, Harris Hassan. Okay, so let's see how we go against him. He's obviously struggled a bit. Maybe he went over the sensor in the previous lap, so that's why he got past. Or maybe he just went off. Oh, that's right, this guy used me like Mario Kart, and I'm really incensed here. I'm like, yeah, it's really easy to make the corner when you just bash into someone, um, because I was doing, as I said, my technique of going in slow and then having a really good exit, but he's just like, well, I'm not going to even break. I'm just going to slide through and hope you break my fall. Somebody went over the sensor there, so I got past him, and just really trying to catch this guy, feeling really annoyed, going, oh, I need to catch this guy. I don't know who he is. Number four. Now, I think number four is the one that's been cutting the corners several times. Hopefully, I'm, if I have misquoted you, I'm wrong. But, uh, yeah, I don't think this guy was up to much good in the race. So, let's see what happens to him next. I know I did see him go off at one stage. Um, but he's obviously trying to make a comeback here. And that's right. Oh, I, get, I, I was right in the middle. They spun right in front of me. And then I was on the dirt. And I did the stupidest thing here. I cut the chicane because I lost so much momentum. And then now I've lost all my momentum here. And, I, and because I've gone over the sensor, two cars. And I think a third one gets past me as well, um, which is really annoying. That whole, whole back straight, you lose, you lose your engine. So who knows where I am now? I, I, I've lost a lot of places. So frustrating. But anyway, here we go. I'm just trying to make up some ground again. Again, break on the entry, come in, try to gain up. Um, going a little bit wide there, but anyway, here we go through here and see how I go on the on this corner this time I think yeah still around the outside trying to get some advantage there someone spun off yet again so that corner is really tricky going too wide there that was really bad and then really just trying to catch them up around this these S's uh, someone's lost some ground maybe something's happened there there we go got past him so maybe he's had an issue and that's 19 again all right, so finally I get down some get, get, get down the inside of someone. He was very kind to me then. He didn't he didn't try to run ran back into me, so that was nice. So I've salvaged a little bit of pride here because uh, I'm still I gained two positions, but I still think I'm probably back around tenth position or something like that. So as much as I've been trying to get ahead, I keep running into problems. Uh, someone's gone off there. Someone tried to come up the inside there, you can see, but again, with that technique I have of um, going in slow, I get a much better exit. So, it works sometimes, but then when that number four just rushes you off the road, then it doesn't work. So, anyway, here we go. See who's up in front of me next. I'm all by myself at this stage, I think. And, uh, again, we've had... Oh, here we go. Stoppage again. And this guy who's behind me creeps up beside me, so he was obviously right behind me. So I'll just pause it there and see how we go with the next bit. Okay, we're starting again after a few false starts, and still got the yellow. So now I'm up behind 18. Again, as I said, we keep moving around, and I'm up behind this guy again. So, yeah, and he's actually seemed fairly quick, so um, I think he had the same problem I had in this race, of just being stuck in the pack and not able to actually... Um, see what your real lap time is without being held up. So, um, yeah, let's see how we go with him. I'm really trying hard here not to go over those sensors, but I think I do later on. But I think he makes the same error. So here I am just following him. Um, again, get catching a little bit in this corner. I wasn't going that deep anymore. And again, I dad the brakes on the way in here. Really got a good exit here. If I could just find a way through, but there's no way through here unless you're prepared to just bash them. So, he got away from me there. I think I was breaking far too early. And uh, just following him around. Uh, okay, here we go. So, this corner, I'm still going wide. Didn't get the best exit there. He's getting away from me a little bit. But then coming into this S, he went too wide. So, then I could catch him a little bit. And we've got yellows again. Okay, so here we go. Um, we're supposed to be slowing down. I think we've probably got the engine limiter here. This doesn't look that quick. 
Okay, I'm just waiting to see. And I think we may we may actually be on the circuit by ourselves at this point. There's no one ahead of him, and I think there's a bit of a gap behind me as well. So who knows what's going on? I think a lot of people got really frustrated and um, have just given up and just drive like madmen uh, because we had a lot of stoppages, a lot of yellows, um, and I can't imagine it's the people in front because we were not passing anyone at this stage. So uh, might have been a lot of people frustrated down the back who um, kept spinning and going off. And this corner up here, as I said, so many people went off here. Um, I was just refusing to do that in this spot. Oh, uh, here we go. We have to stop again. Okay, starting up again and uh, again behind car cart 18. We've been locked in battle nearly the whole of the two sprints, I think. As I finished behind him in the previous race as well. A bit hard to see in the camera here. I'm going to have to lift it up a bit next time, I think. It's a bit too low. He has got someone in front of him. Still got yellow, so let's see what happens here. If he can catch him or if I can um, get up a bit closer to him. Oh, that was really bad there. I lost some time. I don't know what happened. And he's up behind him there. Really hoping for people to... There we go. He's pushed him out. I think this guy might be on a previous lap. I'm not sure. Um, because I don't think that he would have been ahead of us. But let's see. Again, too wide there, and I really nearly lost it. I don't want to go off down that grass patch. He's getting a bit of distance away from me now. I was getting a bit ragged. I think I was getting a bit frustrated with the amount of stoppages and uh, yellow flags that I was just getting a bit, uh, yeah, a bit lost. Didn't really get into that much of a rhythm. Um, okay, let's see if I can catch him at all here. And I, again, I don't even know if he has anyone in front of him, so we might be alone on the circuit here together. So let's see. Again, it's really tough to see. Um, it actually does feel like it's drying out a bit, but I actually felt like this cart was getting worse as the race went on. Um, some of these corners, it just didn't want to turn into. And there we go. Going around the outside, that was probably a little bit more stable, that one. Not going too hard. Staying on the asphalt there. And then here, I was really trying to crawl through these things and just not fishtail as much as I was in the beginning. I'm um, not sure if that was actually helping me, but I was managing to keep keep distance here, but not getting that close to him. I was not breaking deep enough into this corner, I think. But um, I just felt in the first couple of times I tried to go really deep, it didn't help me, so I didn't want to slide off into the barriers. Again, through here, not really getting so straight in the corner. I was trying to actually break and then kick the back end of the cart out to get a better entry um, but at this point I was just understeering a lot and you can see he's actually getting away from me here I really felt like I was looking behind as you can see I felt like oh man I'm getting so ragged uh, I don't feel like I'm really focused um, which is shame on me because <laughs> I should stay focused until the end of the race um, but you know like if you're fighting up the front you can feel a bit more motivated but I felt like at this stage I was oh, someone spun over there I was a bit frustrated with myself that I wasn't able to make some better decisions that when I was close to people actually able to get past them instead I got I got um, involved in uh, skirmishes and stuff I ended up ruining my position so at this point I'm just hoping for people to to have uh, issues up front so I can actually catch up uh, but at this point I'm like wow this is pretty much the end of the race there's not much else I can do just hope and pray that I can get a bit closer to this guy uh, there we go catching a little bit but yeah, not really. Not really enough. But anyway, we live to fight another day. I think there's a, there's maybe a couple of laps left in this race. Uh, not so tight there. Should have kept that a bit better. Again, a yellow. So, it's, you get into this really weird mind space of like, are we supposed to be going flat out? Are we supposed to be taking it easy? Because there's all these yellows around and you're like, well, the guy in front of me is just powering off. So, I guess I'm just going to keep going flat out again. So, that's a bit tricky. Uh, again, I was wondering if this dirt was actually cleaning up. I think it was. It wasn't as much dirt as before. Um, but again, I'm not really... Oh, that was really deep. I remember that corner. That was not a good one. I actually found the best way through there was just to make sure you break early enough for the first one. Then you can just swivel straight through. But because of that one, I'm losing more ground against this guy. And there's the end of the race. Pretty much, yep. So I think we do one lap and then we come back into the pits in the reverse way. So at this point, everyone's just kind of cruising, and and uh, I think in the end I actually finished about ninth. 